All right, hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I am actually very pissed and upset. We are in Hinton Jasper KOA. So far this KOA is a piece of shit. We pulled in, we're supposed to have 30 amps. We do not have 30 amps. We only have 120. We're supposed to have 30, but the plug out there is not working. There's no way they can move us because they're full. And now we have water pressure problems. You see that? This is our water pressure. This is water pressure? Freaking shit. Really? This place is a piece of shit. Okay, Fantasy RV Tours, you need to take this off your list. I would never stay here ever again. I'm getting horrid. I don't even have water. If I knew I was not, I was gonna come to this, this is freaking ridiculous. I don't understand this. Don't ever stay here. Anyone, Hinton Jasper, KOA, do not stay here. This place is a dump. That is my impression of this KOA. It's an absolute, absolute shithole. The utilities do not work. We're supposed to have full hookups. Oh God, I don't even want to flush the toilet. It's probably going to back up on me. Like that movie with Robin Williams. It's going to be a, a geyser of shit going up in the air. Okay, I'm pissed. Really pissed. So again, first impressions of this place is not good. This is actually my very first KOA. And KOA, you... I can hear my mother's voice from the early 80s. Every time we checked into a KOA, my mother would go off on my dad saying, Oh, KOA! And then she'd yell a whole bunch of profanities in Tagalog. Not good. Some of it racist. She did not like the type of people that were in KOAs. She did not like the facilities. And her voice is just running through my mind right now. Why she hated KOA. And frankly right now, KOA's impression on me is not good either. I expect full hookups. We were supposed to come here, have full hookups. 30 amps, water, and sewer. So we could use our airstream but no lousy water pressure we have 120 when we're supposed to have a 30 amp we're we 15. don't have 30 amp 15 15 amp oh it's even less and i'm afraid to flush the toilet or drain our black water it might be a little gusher of shit just like in that movie rv that's what I'm expecting. And as far as the grounds itself, everything's dirt. There's not even pea gravel. It's just dirt. One of our friends already got stuck with their bus because they got into a mud thing. Because it's, it's not even compacted dirt. It's just dirt. All right, good morning. We are over at Jasper still. And I'm still really not that certain. Look at this. It's all muddy. And where our ampages are, or pedestal, it's still a shithole. This is my impression of KOA right now. I'm going to walk down to the laundry facilities because I still need to do laundry today. We are essentially out of clothes unless I buy more. Okay, these are the shower facilities here. They're decent looking. So it's a unisex shower facilities, which is kind of nice. And then the restrooms are over here and they are fairly clean. Okay, they do have a playground for the reason why everyone is blaming global, global warming 
on humans, this is the reason why. Overpopulation. Stop having children. Okay, this is the laundry room. So let's go take a look. Washers $3, $1.50. I don't have 50 cents. They could sweep once in a while. Yeah, I just, I just <laughs> I'm really biased right this point because of what happened yesterday. I'm still not happy. All right, another reason why this park is not a really good park. Look how far we are from the plug and look where the sewer is and the picnic table, really? You want the people next to you having their meal next to a sewer? Why don't they move this entire area four feet over? That would make more sense. Bad design. Okay, we just had the maintenance person here. He said he couldn't repair it because we are getting power through it. And he's giving me some lame excuse that these plugs are not designed to hold circuit circuit breakers or power surge protectors which is absolute bullshit because every park I've been to I plugged in my surge protector and it held power fine so in other words they're not doing anything about it we are getting power we kind of jimmy rigged it Phil to the rescue again thank you got us ties so it's secured to the actual pedestal you gotta jimmy rig it for it to work which is this is bullshit you shouldn't have to jimmy rig electrical plugs in order for it to work when you do that it's a sign of a problem there's a problem they're not gonna fix it essentially is what they said in this campground again don't stay here this is the kind of maintenance they want to do half-assed work I would never do this in my own companies and they're doing it here to us all right one last note about this campsite is that they say they have internet they don't do not believe what this company advertises because whatever they advertise is a lie. This was the single worst site we've ever had. Electricity didn't work and they refused to repair it. The water was intermittent and there is no internet connection and the management didn't care and the repair guy is just as lazy as anyone you could ever get because he wouldn't replace a $15 plug. Anyway, have a great day. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. We are on our way. Dawson Creek. We are on our way to Dawson Creek. Supposedly it's 30 amp water and sewer. So I'm only, the water is at 10%. So if we decide that we need to go poop halfway there, or not, not even halfway. <laughs> we decide to go poop and need to use the bidet. We've got water. So we've, only 10% water. I've drained the sewer in gray. So we're on almost empty tanks. We will be going uphill and downhill from here. It's almost a 275 mile commute. It's gonna be an all day drive. We're gonna stop off at Walmart, replenish because after Dawson Creek, we're on the Alaskan Highway, yay! <laughs> all right. See you next time. Bye.